Yeah, good morning. This is New York City. So yeah, how far? Just uh, I just uh, uh, was just about to get killed by a bicyclist, and here we are in front of the bicycle store. Yes, another bicycle was just about to kill me. <laughs> so the question today is: That's a good question. How do you view yourself? How do you view yourself? What do you think about yourself? That is a very serious topic of today's world. And yes, I'm gonna go right in the. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? You look like a very smart woman. This, uh, I, I have a, I have a video channel that I'm asking random strangers on the on the on the streets of New York. You're from New York? Kind of. Not, not around here. Are you? You are not very talkative today with me. What's your name? Uh, Jill. Jill. That is Jill. She is very smart looking woman. I'm going to ask her the question. The question is, it's a very deep question. It's about philosophy. Uh, the topic is, uh, how do you view yourself? And what this has to do with the way you relate to other people? What do you think? Is it this important? Of course it is. Tell me, tell me, what's your point? Do you have a point on that? Please reflect, Jill. Reflect something <laughs> on the topic, yes. You, you're no, gonna you say something have... smart. Come on, say something smart. You know, How do you view uh, yourself and what is this to do with relationship with other people? Yes. Oh, that's very deep. Deep, but I know I, it's I deep. Mean, if you feel good about yourself, you feel good with other people, you relate well to other people. Fantastic. That is the answer. Jill, thank you so much. Okay, have a good day. Yes, uh, Jill uh, said the truth in one sentence. <laughs> if you view yourself, and uh, yeah, if you view yourself well, and if you see yourself well, you relate to other people very well as well. Yes, <laughs> that sounds good. And uh, yeah, there are some books on the topic, and I'm here to not mention the books. That would be your homework if you are interested in these videos. I'm gonna drop here and there some books, but uh, based on my research, by now there are many, many books uh, on that thing. And they come from very old Asian times and some of the books are very modern and some of the philosophers discussing this problem, <laughs> problem solution, uh, write books on that. I'm just gonna mention one of it. Well, I'm not gonna mention it. Okay, you're gonna find yourself. <laughs> find yourself about yourself. Hey, Rocky, hey, excuse me. Can I ask you a question, man? No. Well, I can see this person is not viewing themselves very good. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a problem with the social conditioning, the, the situation of the world, and uh, uh, a bad parenting. Uh, yeah, this, these are the big problems of the world. Bad parenting is one of them. By the way, I want to mention my criticism about <laughs> the role of the state. You know, the state is always taking over our kids, you know, <laughs> the kids of the new mankind. Somehow the state, you know, the state wants to insert itself into the affairs of parenting. And uh, it's creating dysfunctional kids, right? That is the truth. I'm sorry to inform you about this uh, situation, but uh, it's my duty and obligation to do it because if I don't do it, it would not make uh, impact on the society. So, yeah. The question is uh, simple. How do you view yourself? And actually, how do you vibrate yourself? Well, I'm gonna put it differently. How do you vibe yourself? And sometimes, yes, like, sometimes we are vibing ourselves not so good, not so positive. Sometimes we go down, sometimes we ponder too much, sometimes we forget about the 
the good vibe that we are supposed to do <laughs> that we are supposed to be vibing ourselves good right so that is this uh, deep relationship about how do you view yourself how do you vibe yourself and how other people perceive you and actually what do you attract in your life this all things are related what's your self-image what your self vibe and do you do you observe your thoughts yeah that's a good question do you do you consciously aware of these floating ideas and thoughts in your head and do you catch yourself <laughs> do you catch yourself uh, thinking negative thoughts or uh, positive thoughts and what's the percentage let's take the scientist approach what is the ratio yes uh, 95 to 5 <laughs> or the old Pareto principle 80 20 and based on the scientist data yeah the scientists are suggesting bad ideas like uh, 90 percent negative thinking yes <laughs> and why is it that that is a good question why 95 percent of the world population are following in the Pareto principle twisted 95 percent of the people are 95 percent seeing and viewing and vibing themselves negatively there must be a reason there is must be a, a reason and yes uh, there is a reason there is a like one of my gurus say there is a, a method to the madness there is a method to the madness but what do you think that's a good question how do you this is a self self-centered or self-centric self-centric question what do you think about that how do you view yourself how do you vibe yourself and I'm gonna endlessly endlessly repeat the question because it's good to hammer this in your consciousness and uh, it's like a wake-up call hey good morning how do I view yourself how do I view myself this morning this meaning this uh, this uh, part of the day this part of the afternoon or the morning or the night keep repeating these questions it's a it's a good it's a good reminder maybe okay <laughs> here is a here is a practical advice right in your wallet you have a wallet I do have a wallet let's see that's my wallet oh I want to show you something oh I got the trickery but yeah in your wallet you put this note yeah the note I have a lot of notes uh, I want to share some of these notes they go like this yes uh-huh here is the wallet I have another wallet by the way so I have these little notes yeah these are my uh, I'm gonna put one uh, yeah this is one of them it's like a little Bibles I carry around and it's good to carry these physical stuff because uh, yeah uh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna introduce a new idea in this video which is not new at all but it says uh, the, the material world is the spiritual world and some people uh, disconnect from the material world because they want to be too much spiritual they are so-called the spiritualists <laughs> they read very important books such as the secret uh, such as other very important books that I don't know and I did not read because yeah but these spiritual people uh, are not very material people right they uh, I don't like the materialistic approach to life and yes so think about that how do you view yourself what's your self image yeah. and there literature literature on the topic and actually a self image it's a it's a concept a man-made concept and you can change it like that instantaneously almost if you know the technology uh, the, the conveniences of the human mind invented some concept called technologies <laughs> and it's good to know these technologies instead of believing in hocus pocus miracles and uh, more miracles performed by magicians <laughs> and other type of conjurers right so how do you view yourself 
make it in a note, put it in your wallet, carry it around, read it as much as you can, and remind yourself, if you, can, if you keep forgetting anytime you open your wallet, yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good place, or in your pocket, or maybe, yes, a better practical idea, make five of these <laughs> little Bibles, uh, five by seven cards, and put them in all your pockets, and keep reminding yourself, and you go, anytime you go to your pocket, or, oh, you see, <laughs> it just uh, came to me. Uh, uh, a wallpaper on your cell phone. Yeah, you, you should be your smiling pictures, <laughs> not the picture of your husband, boyfriend, wife, or a kid. Yeah, a kid would be a good idea, but I would strongly recommend smiling picture of yourself. Yeah, anytime you pull up your cell phone, it reminds you of your happy image versus your sad image. And uh, that's it, the uh, video gets kind of boring, so I'm gonna go mess with people around. Let's see what we have available here. Uh, we have zero availability right now. There is a guy coming, I'm gonna attack him. Hello, hey, excuse me, can I ask you one question? No, you say no, yes, uh, I can see. Yeah, he's too busy with his uh, bag. And there is a woman here coming, I'm gonna ask her. Hello, can I ask you one thing, something, one question? Maybe question. Question is about, uh, yeah, can I ask you? I'm making these uh, videos in YouTube and I'm asking questions random strangers on the street. And today's question is how do you view yourself and uh, what this has to do with, with, with the world? You have any idea about that? Good idea. No. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, so sometimes people. Hey, excuse me, guys. Good morning. Would you like to be part of my videos? No, they are very funny you. videos. No, you can't. You can't run away. Please answer. Hey, buddy. Good morning. Morning. Hey. It's a happy guy. Hey, listen. I have questions. I have a. Uh, I want to ask you one question. Yeah. You want to be in my YouTube channel? Sure. Why not? I gotta hurry up now. Ah. <laughs> Listen, I have one question. The question is, uh, I'm asking uh, people uh, random questions on the street. Today's question is, how do you view yourself and what this has to do with, with the world? Yeah. Do, honest how, answer. How, honest how, answer. How do I view ourselves with the rest of the world? No. How do you view yourself and what this? What is the impact uh, on the world? Something like that. You know. Uh, yeah. Where we are today. No, 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 it's about you, man. What's your oh, name? Oh, how do I feel? My name is Darren. Darren, not how you feel. How do you view yourself? How do you vibe? How do you... Yeah. No, I, I, I'm not sure if I understand the question. Okay. Uh, I, try, I, I try to answer the best way I can. Yes. Uh, I'm in a good place, personally. Fantastic. But I see the world crumbling down. Crumbling down yes. world. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I like uh, this. It's right. kind of... Uh, yeah, kind of perplexed observation. Yes, it is. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> very perplexed. All right. <laughs> yeah, here is a person that view himself very well. Uh, he is in a good place of his life. Yeah, he feels good. He is a good guy. He is a positive guy. Le and let's go in the dark now. But for some reason, <laughs> he sees the world as a crumbling place. Yeah, that's a paradox. Uh, according to me, that is a paradox of the mind. Now, are you this kind of person that you have this great self-image, you look yourself and everything is fantastic and it's beautiful and uh, everything is going so well, but for some reason the world, <laughs> the world around you, it's crumbling place, yes? And perhaps they are in charge, yeah? You know? The Illuminati. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta blame it on the Illuminati, yeah? So that's that's the end of the video. Let's see what, what we have here. It's called Bud Light. Yes, Bud Light. And uh, if you like this talk, subscribe. There's a not very smart talk. It's mostly in question form. And I do understand people don't like to be asked these questions. But uh, yeah. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> so, subscribe if you view yourself somehow. Yeah, subscribe.